we would like to give you an update on the project that Audio Video Services is spearheading at the Austral Asia branch. You'll recall that it was announced at last year's annual meeting. So what has been happening with this video project in this intervening time? Please pay close attention. At the 2020 annual meeting, we announced an exciting new video project, The Good News According to Jesus. Brother Anthony Morris made the following encouraging statement. Will there be challenges? Oh yeah, guaranteed. But if Jehovah wants something done, that's what happens. How true those words have proven to be. Up to date, the largest feature drama audio video services had produced was a little over 100 minutes in length. The good news, according to Jesus, spans nearly 1,000 minutes of content. We are happy to update you on this exciting project and share different ways Jehovah has helped us to overcome various challenges. So we're going to see different ways Jehovah has helped the audio-visual department overcome various challenges. They didn't overcome them by themselves. No, no. <laughs> Jehovah intervened, because he's an interventionist God, apparently. Jehovah has intervened in Earth's affairs to make sure that the good news according to Jesus, a new Bible drama that's being worked on to make sure this becomes a reality. As you heard there from Roboron, <laughs> this was, that's what I call him because he's so robotic, isn't he, Ron Curzon? As you heard there from Roboron, this was announced at the previous annual meeting. They made a big song and dance about it. We even got Magadan Gate as a result of this particular announcement. We had a governing body member getting the Gospels wrong, <laughs> making a mistake while he was simultaneously trying to impress everyone with his Bible knowledge, which I found hilarious. Thumbnail here, if Tibor is gracious. We had this whole series announced a year ago, and now, because they've apparently not got much to talk about, <laughs> it's like that thing we announced a year ago Let's talk about it a bit more, <laughs> even though it's still not finished. We'll just keep hyping this thing that we've already started hyping 12 months ago. Maybe a bit more hyping is in order. And notice that as justification for this extra hyping, Ron Curzon says the following. Brother Anthony Morris made the following encouraging statement. Will there be challenges? Oh, yeah. Am I the only one, or did Roboron just quote from a governing body member as though he were quoting from the Bible? That seems to be where we're up to now when it comes to the veneration of these men. It's not just that they are God's channel, it's that their words are so important that they should be quoted in the same breath or with the same esteem and reverence as a Bible quotation. So it was clear to everybody in the department and at the branch that it really needed to be a team effort and everybody going above and beyond to make this work. But that only takes you so far. Jehovah's blessing on the arrangements, the qualities that he helps us to show, the motivation that he helps us to have to overcome those challenges and to take on things that really are beyond what we can normally cope with. And seeing that, particularly as we look back on a number of those challenges and how they've been overcome, you see Jehovah's involvement day to day. Our brother had a trailer that was going to be donated to the project, but he didn't have the funds to pay for the freight. At the very same time, a sister contacted the branch and wanted to donate specifically to the project. The amount she donated was the amount that was needed to cover the freight to bring the trailer to Bethel. One brother made a 30-hour round trip to deliver a large quantity of goods he manufactured for us. He made this trip not once or twice, but multiple times, even planning the work around two surgeries he had to have. 
a number of trucks were required to freight the goods, so members of his family and congregation shared in the driving while local brothers extended hospitality. Is this impressive, viewers? You tell me. We've been promised by Ron Curzon different ways Jehovah has helped us to overcome various challenges, us being the audio-visual services department. And what we're getting is examples of fanaticism or coincidences. So there's a trailer that someone donates because they've been duped into thinking that they're somehow responsible for the organization filming cult propaganda. The organization says, we want to film this particular propaganda, but we need help to do it. We need actual resources for this thing we've planned to do. What about that verse about only building a tower once you've sat down and calculated the funds? What they've apparently done in Australia is they've planned to build the tower and they've waited for Australian Jehovah's Witnesses to come and give them the stuff to build the tower with. That's what it's looking like to me. So that you have an individual donating their trailer, and apparently it was God who stepped in. Jehovah intervened in Earth's affairs so that the money needed to ship this trailer to the branch. I thought trailers were by their very nature, something that could be moved. But anyway, <laughs> so the funds needed to get the trailer to the branch miraculously materialized in the organization's bank account. And this is supposed to be impressive. I feel like a broken record at this point, <laughs> but what does it tell us about God if that's true? If God really did that, with all of the misery and suffering that's going on right now around the world with the pandemic, with millions of people dying, if God was like, oh, no, 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 hang on. Hang on, angels. I've spotted something. There's a problem in Australia. There's a trailer that needs to be shipped to the Australasia branch of Jehovah's Witnesses. Can't see how it's ever going to happen unless, as the supreme ruler of all things, unless I use my infinite power to step in in this situation. I don't want to worship him. I, I feel zero affection for any deity who is that terrible at prioritizing and who folds his arms through so much death and carnage but drops everything to help ship a trailer. We feel very appreciative for everyone who's been able to help on this project, recognizing their personal and collective sacrifices that have been made. But those who have been able to come in and help us on the project, tell us how thankful they are to have had a share in the project. Only Jehovah can create a situation like this. Jehovah always finds a way to help us do His will often providing solutions we never thought possible. Jehovah always finds a way. He makes the impossible happen, viewers, because it obviously would have been impossible to make a propaganda drama about Jesus, wouldn't it? I mean, how is that ever going to happen? <laughs> you can talk, if you like, about landing probes on comets, <laughs> or sending rovers to Mars, or flying helicopters on Mars. Yeah, 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 all of that's great. But the real challenge for mankind in the 21st century is making a Bible propaganda drama about Jesus. That's the real insurmountable human feat for which Jehovah needs to intervene, and which simply would not happen without his intervention. Oh, and by the way, maybe it wasn't just Jehovah. Maybe brothers and sisters were involved. Maybe cult followers who had loyalty to the organization, who had a vested interest in assisting the organization, perhaps because they're indoctrinated, perhaps because they believe the end is nigh, 
and they're being measured according to their loyalty and help that they're giving this organization, maybe it's a little bit to do with that. Maybe it's a little bit to do with what cult followers are contributing and the sacrifices they're making. We feel very appreciative for everyone who's been able to help on this project, recognizing their personal and collective sacrifices that have been made. Oh, so it's not just Jehovah's intervention. It's not like all of this stuff just magically happened. <laughs> it's not like in that JW Broadcasting episode where a typhoon, God used a typhoon to deliver sand for a Kingdom Hall restoration project. It's not quite on that scale. It's a case of sacrifice. It's a case of local Jehovah's Witnesses believing themselves to be responsible in some way for this project to be realized. Well, what's remarkable about that? What's remarkable about a cult wanting to do something and convincing volunteers to go above and beyond towards making that thing happen? I'm sure that happens all the time with cults. But what's unique here, as far as I can tell, is that this cult is proud of the control it has over people to the point where the sacrifices that are being made of people are unreasonable. One brother made a 30-hour round trip to deliver a large quantity of goods he manufactured for us. He made this trip not once or twice, but multiple times, even planning the work around two surgeries he had to have. Bear in mind that in the October 2021 JW Broadcasting episode, thumbnail here to the relevant sushi, Robert Lucioni was schooling Jehovah's Witnesses on the need to maintain balance. A dramatization was shown to that end, showing how an elder shouldn't pick up the phone during family worship if he's being badgered by another elder. He needs to be balanced. Come on, there's only so much you can do when you're a witness. An older Jehovah's Witness lady wanted to pioneer, but she had multiple doctor's appointments. She needed to be balanced. Here we are in Australia. A cult propaganda film needs to be made. And some guy who is clearly not in the best of health, to the point where he needs surgeries, makes multiple 30-hour round trips for the organization between surgeries. So th this is really an organization that speaks out of both sides of its mouth, isn't it? And has total double standards. And the October broadcast went out the same month that this annual meeting was held. This annual meeting was held on October the 2nd, 2021. Just incredible hypocrisy. Yes, we'd like you to maintain balance, brothers. Oh, unless we have a propaganda project that needs to be realised, in which case, yeah, you, brother, who needs multiple surgeries, could you make a 30-hour round trip many times to deliver goods for us? That'd be just great. 